Generic greetings and welcome back to Fights in Tight Spaces, today's beverages. A nice cup of coffee with a hint of cinnamon. So Fights in Tight Spaces is John Wick meets Slay the Spire and Into the Breach. I don't think that is an unreasonable short explanation. For a longer explanation and a detailed run through, by all means check out the preview I have made on the game. I said in a previous video that I wanted to play more of this game and apparently a lot of people wanted to see more of the game as they put it in the comments. So this is that. We're going to play what the prologue currently has to offer, which means Means this is probably only be one or two episodes long so not a lot but hopefully enough to enjoy it and to get the mechanics down as i said this is a free downloadable prologue slash demo links in the description so you can check it out yourself and uh, hopefully this will be a nice primer for when the full game finally releases so over to new game and let's crack on into this one so, are you sure you want to overwrite your existing save data? Yes, because I did mess up a lot of that uh, previous run through. In terms of the aforementioned games, so um, I guess, well, Slither Spire and Into the Breach, I'm fairly confident with my abilities to get those right. In this one, not so much, so there'll probably be a couple of misplays here and there, but hopefully it won't be a fairly state within the first 30 seconds. Anyway, Agent 11. Sir, we have a number of emerging situations that could do with your skills. Uh, we have the Section 11 training, the Death's Head Biker Gang, and I think the rest are locked because prologue. So we're going to go with the Death's Head Biker Gang. After the Biker Gang Wars of the 90s, which thankfully we survived, uh, we thought we'd seen the last of the Nordic gangs, but they're back with a network of so-called clubhouses across Scandinavia. We're seeing a massive increase in smuggling operations on northern European borders put a stop to it okay and we're going to do that via the application of um, fists I think so we have full health 50 generic units of currency standard deck of cards which is fairly underwhelming but hopefully quite useful and we have an enhancement of emergency move gain and an emergency move card at the start of each fight we only have the restroom to go to so let's go to that mission is fight location restroom three targets rewards are additional card as well as cash and there is a negative weakened target thing on there so let's go to the restroom and for whatever reason we'll parachute in or jump from vent or whatever just uh, how it uh, how it happens there one two three we are the person the in the black and white like bit in the center there and we have obviously enemies here so both of them are going to attack i'm not going to go through exactly you know, running through the ui exactly how it works because i've done that in a previous video so yeah anyway we can see we're getting attacked off both enemies i want to can we shift and push? Do we have a push? We do not have a push, sadly, and we can't use the combo finisher. So I am basically going to shift behind uh, this guy, and that's basically going to be my turn. I can't really do anything else. Let's end the turn there, and they're obviously going to come for us. So that's a bit of a shame, because we had nothing that was... Um, very funky and because of that move we're not going to be able to do much either this is a bit of a shame it really is um we can't emergency move back we can slip or we can step back to there but what's the point really uh kick up to two tiles away mm, i guess we'll have to probably do a a quick kick like that and then a hammer fist like that and then we'll do a step over there which means we can end the turn and they're just going to come a bit closer uh, we didn't defeat the enemies zero three uh remaining oh, sorry def well three remaining we've killed zero defeated and uh, we have to complete the level within four turns i don't think it's going to happen but we'll see we have got a wall bash which i will use so I'll grab you and uh yes you have now I had a little chat with those tiles, and I will do a cheeky long strike, like that. Do a bit of damage, and a bit of a front kick, and... Yep, that's fine. And then finally, I will do a emergency move to there, just so I don't get attacked back, because I don't want that. And then end the turn. New enemies drop, and let's see what we can do. This guy is on a total of 8 health. So, quite frankly, if I wanted to, I could just shift there and then then just do a quick strike. That would that would work out. We'll dash to there and then a quick strike. So there we go. And his head hit the top of the <laughs> the top of the uh, water tank there, the system, and um, end the turn. 
So he's going to come towards us, and let's see what we can do. If we can take this guy out within two turns, we'll have got the uh, bonuses here. I want to... I'd like to do a combo finisher. We'll do it. Well, we'll do a... He's doing six damage, so I'll do a counter. I'll do a hammer fist, like that. And I will... I can't do a wall bash because he's not near a wall or... He's not near a wall or edge. So I will just end the turn. He'll attack me, which means I counter him. There we go. So he's got even less now. And then... Ah, quite frankly, it's just a quick kick. And then it's just a... Then it's just a long strike. No drama. Job done. New card on 30 generic units of currency. Good start. Happy with that. Dash is moved to tiles. Step is moved tile in one direction. Shift is moved past a target on move two. I think shift is a good one, but they're not ideal. So we have a tattoo studio or an alleyway. And then the next ones are a tattoo studio and a gym. If we go to the bar, we can then only go to the gym, which gives us the ability to level up a card. Whereas if we go to the top two, we can then either go to medical or the gym. So we're going to play it safe. Which is a bit of a shame because I'd like to see these two areas. But I think giving the option for either the medic or the gym is the better option for us. It's a better strategic decision, I think. And because we've got a few move cards now. And yeah, I think we'll be alright in here. Anyway, we have... Oh, we could do a wall bash straight away. That would do 18 damage to this fella. And then I could do probably a... I think it's, you know what? There's no reason why I can't just do a quick one of those. And then I could uh, probably... What's that guy doing? He's just doing a quick tire iron. I'm going to slip to there. Ah, uh, hang on. No, no, no. We have to be a bit clever about this. Holding alt. What I was going to do, I could just... I was going to just slip out the way. And then I thought, right, would that work? Yes, but what would be a better option? Well, if I slipped further towards this guy, the biker, I could then do counter, which would give me 8 block. He's only attacking for 5. And I would then hit him back. 10 damage as well, which is good. But the problem is the attack order. The biker would hit me first, which does 5 damage and push me. And then this guy is going to attack me because he would push me back. And that's not a big problem because I would obviously call I would have the block for it, but he's got a tire iron strike for six damage and an injury card to the target. I really don't want to be dealing with that. So instead Oh I got quick block though. Oh, shall I try it? Oh go on then. I'm gonna I'm going to try it. I'm gonna to slip to there. I'm going to counter, and I'm going to quick block. I think this guy will still get his injury card, but let's see what happens. So he attacks us. Right. So, you don't know until you know, and now I know. And I didn't think I'd be able to counter him, because I think the counter happens after the move, which is exactly what happened. This fella attacked me, and then I hit him back for 10, but I didn't take that injury card because I had enough block. So that was good to know. Anyway, um, one guy's going to do... Well, the one guy's going to attack. I can't really do much. Now, that guy's kicking up to two tiles away. Um, I mean, I could just block. I'm just going to block. Just end the turn. There we go. So, how do we want to do this? Step to there, hammer fist, like that, and then quick kick, and then he's going to attack his mate, yes, because he's attacking first, there we go, good, and that guy's on 11 health, he's on 12, I can slip, but that's only adjacent. Yeah, I can't go through people. No point in a quick kick and push back. No point in a block. I can... I need a 12 damage to kill that fella. Which, I've got a long strike for 6. And I can do a quick kick. But that's only if I slip towards him. 
But they're doing five damage each, right? Uh. Okay. One of those. Slip there. And. Just block. Just block. End the turn. Doesn't matter what order they hit me in. There you go. Oh, no, it does. I've lost more health because... Even though they were doing five damage, they were pushing me back into this, which I... I'm... Yeah, you do take more damage when you push back into where in things like that, but it's not overly readable. Shame. Shame. Okay, I've lost more health than I really wanted to, but uh, let's just hammer fist this guy into the wall. Yeah, it's because of that pushback. That's all it was. Um, and... I guess we'll slip there. And then... We'll do that. It's not going to kill him. I'll just emergency move to there. End the turn. There's another one dropped in. And all these quick punches. <laughs> so the problem with this is even if I do the counter, it's going to be all. O it's just going to be pushing me back all over the place. <laughs> so what's the point? Well, I'll do the counter. I'll do the front kick. Because I'll take him out. Should have done it the other way around because he charged forward. Darn it. Okay. Um, quick block. And I can't do quick strike. I'll just dash out the way then. That's used all my manoeuvres out. Yeah, I've totally messed this level up. Take an extra damage and not done it within six turns. Could have done it, but just messed it up. Because now I can't do the, the combo finisher. And these are all move cards. We've got one, two, three move cards and a counter. I mean, what's the point? I'll just move to there. Dash to there. And then just end the turn. And then now it's the time just to take him out. He's got 20 health. Um, quick strike. There's one. Hammer fist. There's another one. And then wall bash. Which, uh, well... <laughs> <laughs> That's taken about, about 10 times over. Don't get the cash, but we do get a new card. Nerve Strike. Deal 4 damage and apply minus 2 modifier to the target. Does not trigger an auto attack. A minus 2 modifier, does that mean to their attack? I think it might do. Uh, I'd rather just have the Quick Strike, to be honest. Okay, over to the, to, the, to the Tattoo Studio. This time there is no weakened enemies, and we have lost 4 health. If we don't lose any health here, I will go to the gym and upgrade a card. But um, we'll have to see how much I mess it up in this one. So we have four enemies, two Tyrions. So what have we got? Two goons with Tyrions, uh, a biker that kicks, and then this guy, which is a short range punch. So these aren't attacking, but I'm. Uh, yeah, I'm really in between all of these, aren't I? Um, and that's only going to do six. I'm not gonna. He's gonna do eight though. I've got a block and a move. If I go through there, I think that's a, that. That is a tile where it will trigger an attack if I move there. I could go around. I could dash to two there, an emergency move. Hmm. Oh, I've got a dash and a shift. If I go there, I'm pretty sure I'll. Take too much damage. But I think what I'm going to do, we'll go for one, two. Yeah, go there. Go there. And then we'll do a quick kick like that, which is some damage. And also, this guy is going to get pretty much done in. There's one. There's two. <laughs> right. Couldn't have really asked for more on that one. Very happy with that one. Um, I'm going to... Hmm. I mean, slipping to there, it just makes sense, just to get out of his way. Can't wall bash him. Can't combo finish him. But I can do one of those. Uh, a long strike. Like that. And then a combo finisher. Which seems to be a bit of a waste, but... I'm going to do it. I'm just going to take him out. I just want him gone. Um, end the turn. Just getting rid of opponents at this stage is 
because of the tight because of the fights in tight spaces, you know, <laughs> aptly named. I think it's the way forward. Uh, right, so we need to get a five combo. That's probably not going to happen. Front kick. We'll push him back. Both of them have got 25 health. So, six and eight. I guess this guy's the one that I... Now he's going to push. There's a punch. A push there, and then a punch. I can move behind him. I'll do that. There's no reason not to. Quick strike him. Quick strike him. Just bleed that damage off him. Get two combo there. See if, we'll see if we can go for the, the full combo. Um... I don't think I can. If I step, do I lose one of my combos? I think I do. I'm gonna slip to there. No, it doesn't. It's gonna be a quick strike. Like that. And a long strike. So building up this combo, we're onto four combos now. If I step right next to him, oh but I'm losing I'm losing combo. Uh, we still got three, though. We do have combo finisher. And sadly, I've got very little attack. I do 14 damage to him. I'll do a quick block. And the turn. Pushes me back. No dramas. We have a front kick. That's good, because it gets us closer a bit. We'll still have to shift. And then a hammer fist. That should bring our combo up. Yes, it has. And then an emergency move. Ah, no. No point. I just... Yeah, emergency move. No, just a shift. I'll just do a shift to there. We're in no... There's no time uh, bonus on this one, so we'll move to there. And... Uh, oh, yeah, you're so dead. <laughs> as soon as that war one came up. Yep. Oh, well, we only snapped his spine in three places. New card and 30 generic units of currency. Panic dash. Discard a random card. Move three tiles. Interesting. Slip, which is always good. And throw. Knock down and, knock down and deal four damage. Let's pick that one. So we can go to medical or we can go to the gym. I'm going to go to the gym so we can upgrade these cards. Is that right? Oh, no, you can buy cards, or you can upgrade. I'm going to upgrade, and the one we use... I mean, we use, I guess, the Quick Strike the most. Oh, that's pathetic for an upgrade. One extra health. Um, That's a better upgrade, though. Front Kick Plus. Let's go for... Let's go to Front Kick... A long strike would be nice as well, but it's only... Oh, 6 to 9 damage. That's fine. Yeah, let's just upgrade those. Hammer Fist. Oh, that's good if we get that leveled up. It's double the damage. But, oh, it's 300 and... <laughs> 300 nod. I think it's already leveled up, though. No, I don't think... I don't know if it is. Um, how much we got? 40. Yeah, we can't afford any more. We've upgraded them all. Okay, that's fine. Right, so we can afford a slip or a shift, but we're not going to get those. And can you go to both medical? No, you can't. I'm at gym. All right, over to parking then. We have a fight with four enemies. And our objectives, let's have a quick look, is to... Oh, I like the... the uh, there's a motorbike and sidecar there. Motorbike there and looks to be a... What's that? It's not a quad bike. It's a... Uh, oh, yeah, it's a trike. Cool. So defeat the enemies. Four enemies to defeat and complete the level within eight turns. We have... Two of these goons, so they have that tire iron. We have a guy at the back with a welder. Charge up with three tiles. And then finally the pistol thug. So, none of these are ideal. And... I only have a shift that can get myself out of the way of nobody. I'm just going to get... I'm going to get hit regardless of what happens here. So what I'll do... Uh, strike for six... I guess I'll have to get to there. Which I can shift. Okay. Well, we'll just start, you know, hitting people. Like that. There we go. And I shouldn't be attacked, I don't think. 
let's see if any of that what I said actually happens. Yeah, it didn't do the charge and stuff. Right, fine. Um, I could do a front kick and a quick kick and then a step. Yeah, front kick. So go forward one out the way of this guy that's shooting me. He's only got one health remaining. Cheeky quick kick takes him out. And shift to there. End. Keeping the welder out of play as well, which is the main one. Um. Oh yeah, look at that throw. Knock down and deal four damage. I'm very tempted. Slip to there. Push him out of the way, because then he, then the guy's gonna get welded. <laughs> um, dash and then emergency move and then throw oh that's cool so he's on the ground now that guy gets welded for 10 damage and because of the spit uh, where we are it's uh, pretty good oh so that guy's pistol thug he's armed he looks to be, he looks to be stunned um Right. Quick strike. There we go. Little cheeky undercut. Um, step one. Hammer fist. There we are. There's two taken out. Complete within five turns. I don't know how many you have remaining, but it feels like we're getting close to the end of that. Oh, God, we had eight turns, so it's counting down. Right, so we've got a lot more. That is fine. Um, so, I actually can't... I don't think I can get within... Can I get to attack him? Y yes, but it will not do much damage. So, I guess what I'll do is go for a slip to there, a cheeky front kick, like that, which will cause a bit of damage because of the pushback and the hit. It was 9 damage, but he had 8 block. And counter, because he's only going to do 10 damage, and then a quick block. So, end the turn, but I counter him back. Yeah, that's even more damage, that's excellent. Got a combo finisher here, but I think we're going to go for a... Maybe we'll go for one of those. <laughs> we'll go for a... One of those, and then finally a throw. Oh, heavy cannot be downed. Ah, oh, shame. Um, I guess swift to there. Then just get out of his, just get out of his uh, threat zone, really. And just quick, you know, just keep doing these little, these little attacks. There's a block though, sadly. Uh, yeah, I'm just gonna have to sort of slip. Just keep slipping. And the turn. Hammer fist. There we go, he'll block it. And he's doing 10. I'll do a combo finisher just to do a lot of damage to him. And then I'll just sort of step out the way again. Shame I can't throw him. Mm, can I take him out now? Front kick, that'll push him back. Yep. Then a long strike. Hmm. Or do I want to... No. Swift to there. Then it will wall bash. That should be him gone. Chainlink fence. Meet head. Sadly, didn't do it with the near turns, but that's fine. I get a new enhanced card. Grapple. Move an enemy to any adjacent tile. Tag will turn to face away. That's really good. Separate. Push two enemies. One tile in opposite directions. Deal four damage. Or combo counter... We're going to go with Grapple. So you have a Tattoo Studio or an event. How close we are? Uh, are we to the end guy? Not very close at all. We're going to go with a event. So you f your fight has been sabotaged. Take control of the plane. Or your flight has been sabotaged. <laughs> Take control of the plane or grab a parachute. Fly the plane. 66% 
add enhancement 33% long-term injury or get out there and lose currency. I'm going to gamble. You survive uh, and the evidence is intact. Enhancement enhanced uh, facilities. Gain 25 health when healing at medical facilities. Excellent. Uh, we now have a gym or the tattoo studio or the medical. Don't really need medical. Don't have the money for gym. So we will do a fight. And that will then give us access to the uh, one above it. I think it's just a straight fight though. So there's the land. And there's the setup here. So is there anything we can do that's going to be funky? I could slip over there. Slip over there. Front kick. Obviously, he's kicking him as well as pushing him, so it's just more damage. Um, hammer fist and quick strike. It's just just take him out. Just get him removed from the table. Um, and technically, I can do a combo finisher because this thing simply requires three of um, that momentum. No, not momentum. I can't remember what it's called. Momentum's the this this about this stuff here. Your action or your mana or whatever you want to call it. The cost of the card, whereas. The other one is uh, for just doing attacks and such. Um, that guy's got six health. I mean, no reason why I'm just... Just get rid of him. He's removed from the table. <laughs> Take a little rest on there. Um, and then do that. Um, push is technically a zero build. Does it do damage? Yeah, it did four damage. And then... Uh, well, I mean, just counter, right? Surely... Oh, whoops. There you go. Uh, <laughs> that was that was really easy. Get over here. Force a character to move two tiles towards you. Could be good. Front kick. Deal four damage and one push. And maintain combo. Don't lose combo from movement this turn. Don't like that. I don't really like either. I'll try and get over here. Um, let's try the... Let's try the... Try the alleyway? Try the alleyway. Go on. It's the only option. I don't know why I'm asking, because it's the only one we can do. Ah, so we have a civilian this time. Is that the British ambassador? And they're actually attacking as well. Yes, the ambassador. British ambassador will not take damage from player attacks. It's otherwise highly vulnerable. Right. I don't know what I'm going to do to this. This is going to be interesting. If I just move out of the way, these will attack each other anyway. I don't have a push to get to move that guy. So he's, he's just going to get attacked from... It's going to be four damage, which is a shame, but, you know, it's not it's not the end of the world. Hmm. That guy's got auto attack as well. Right, I think it's just a case of counter quick block and I'm going to let them attack me 10 back 10 back but I've lost 14 in total because of the push that's the bit that it that still uh, keeps getting me so both these are going to attack he's on 11 health I think uh, 6 can do 10. I can do 10 damage only. Shift behind him. Yeah, okay. Then hammer fist him. The back of the head. And a cheeky throw. There we go. And end. He's stunned. Knocking them down, that is amazing. He's got 30 health. What can I do? I'd like to take at least one of these out. I can do 8. I can do... He, oh, actually, do very good damage. Quick strike. Oh, he auto-attacked. Uh, he's got auto-attack, yeah. He'll auto attack once per turn. That's... Somewhat messed up my order of play, but not massively. 
because that's going to charge forward and push him back. So he shouldn't then be attacking me. No, he's not. Then a quick strike. There we go. Yeah, that's not too bad at all. Could have been worse. Could have been a lot better. Ambassador's going to be attacked. These guys are attacking each other too. Um, I, can sh I just want to try and deal with him now. So, shift to there. And then I can do... Basically not enough. <laughs> is what I'm saying. Um, shift behind. Quick. Oh. Right, how much is going to take? Eight. I can deal with that. I'm going to go there. And then I'm going to quick kick him. Like that. Which means he's going to get pushed back like that. He's on three health. Uh... And then push again because he's going to get attacked again. Emergency move. Ah, oh, darn it. I was going to I was gonna attack him for the long strike, but I thought he was only two away. So I'll just have to take that guy out um, and move over there. I know I'm wasting some of the combo stuff, of the momentum. Yeah, combo finishes 16 damage. Uh... I mean, there's a bit of damage there. He's on the 16. I can limit it for 18. No reason not to just take the guy out, I guess. And... Yeah. End turn. Complete level within one turn. He's got 21 health. Can I take him out? Probably not. Because he's doing a pushback. Um... Do a counter, but he's gonna do he's gonna do the pushback first. Dash to there, dash to there. Front kick will do more damage. Eh. I guess we might as well. Dash to there. I thought he didn't move. Yeah, I'll shift, yeah. And then front kick. Which is gonna give him extra damage from hitting that. And then in the turn. So we're not gonna get within the six turns thing, but it uh doesn't really matter much, to be honest. There we are. Alright, so we've uh, protected the ambassador. It says minus 15 health. Which, it, we, I guess we haven't done that. No, we have done it. It's protect, he's protected. Right spin kick. Six damage and push target to the right. That's really good. Tackle is push enemy back, knock down, apply four damage and maintain combo. The right spin kick I quite like. Yeah, we've actually gained health there. Okay, so I think we will leave it there because it's getting quite long, I think, this video. Uh, we've managed to do one, two, three, four, five, six fights. And obviously we've also went through the gym and an event. So next episode, well, probably the last one, uh, we'll go and do the bar and then we'll work out whether we're going to do alleyway event parking and then obviously just work our way to the boss which i've not yet uh, even attempted so it's going to be quite interesting either way hope you have enjoyed this little bit of facing tight spaces and hopefully next episode it will be successful either way hope you have enjoyed it thanks very much for watching take care and generic partings